Hey everybody, what's going on? Hellmite here, bringing another video from Grab the Lantern today. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about Earth and why I feel the game mode has gotten increasingly toxic throughout the years. Now, make no mistake, when Earth first came out, I fell in love with it instantly. I thought it was completely frantic, completely off the wall, and extremely fun. It felt like everyone wasn't trying particularly hard to have an extremely hardcore competitive experience in Earth, and it was just a lot of fun picking random champions and seeing how well they did in a game mode where mana doesn't exist, cool that are basically don't exist and everything is 100% more faster. It was even greater when Riot brought it back the year afterwards, after pretending like they were going to do reverse Earth for a couple of months and then actually hitting us with the real Earth. It was a great time, um, and Riot naturally brought it back a lot more time since then. But over the years, I've noticed Earth has gotten significantly less fun in general, to the point that I don't really even play it anymore. In today's video, I want to take a look at why I feel Earth has gotten less fun overall, and generally give some ideas about how Riot can maybe avoid this uh, as going forward. Uh, now, obviously, if this is a personal opinion, if you guys are still having fun with Earth, completely great, um, but this is just things that I've noticed in my own games. First, I think Earth feels more toxic than normal League of Legends because the low cooldowns lead to more frantic and oftentimes upsetting gameplay. Um, Earth giving every champion a blanket 80% cooldown reduction on their abilities means that a lot of the core gameplay loops of League of Legends are sort of thrown out the window. In normal League of Legends, a champion using their ultimate means that they're down that cooldown for a substantial duration, which gives you an opportunity to play the game without worrying about that. For example, in lane, you go up against a Darius, he goes for the dunk, you don't die to it, you're able to reset, teleport back to lane. Well, now you have a couple of minutes where you can safely farm without worrying about Darius going for the full all-in with the ability to kill you with his ultimate, right? His ult's on cooldown. Uh, and on a smaller scale as well, a champion using their most impactful basic ability, like a Blitzcrank Rocket Grab, means you have up to, you know, about half a minute to not worry about that ability specifically. Blitzcrank fires Rocket Grab and misses, cool, that's, you know, 20 to 10 seconds-ish where I'm not worried about getting hooked and I can actually step up and play the game because I'm not worrying about this ability. In Earth, however, having a ton of inherent ability haste means that your windows of comparative safety are few and far between. Basically, every champ has their entire kit off cooldown at all times, and their ult, of course, is extremely available if it's not always available. This then means that the tension and stress of managing delicate situations permeates the game, leading to a lot more frustration when playing. I liken this a lot to the, the old Nidalee mid-days in Season 4, where she just siege up outside your tower and just throw javelin after javelin after javelin. Like, sure, you can dodge spears for a while, but if she lands one of them, you die. Take this scenario, but now Nidalee can't run out of mana and she throws a spear every couple of seconds, you know, like once every second as opposed to, you know, once every five or six seconds. Not a very fun experience. There are also some degenerate interactions that exist because of the blanket ability haste. Uh, I remember the perma brand stun days where if he E'd you and landed a Q, you would you would literally just die because the Q's stun duration was longer than the cooldown on his Q, so he could just Q you off cooldown and kill you without you being able to play the game. Uh, but other things like multiple Jace-empowered Qs from a single acceleration gate, or Orn being basically unstoppable the entire time you're fighting him, right? Like, these sorts of things aren't possible in regular League of Legends, they're not intended games gameplay interactions, but they exist in Earth because Earth is pushing the boundaries of what the game is really intended to do, which can lead to a lot of really frustrating in-game experiences. Speaking of frustration, though, in Earth, certain champions sort of lose their reason to exist. Because of the blanket acceleration of all cooldowns, as well as just a generally faster game time, some champions just kind of lose their ability to function as intended. Uh, Renekton, for example, is a lane bully, and on Summoner's Rift, normal games relies on sort of out-trading and out-sustaining his opponent over an extended period of time in lane, forcing them to recall constantly, using his power in lane to zone you off minions and CS in order to bully up an advantage for himself. This play pattern is non-functional in Earth. Landing phase is just kind of a clusterfuck of ability usage and all-ins all the time, which means Renekton's play pattern is very careful, out-trade, out-sustain, just slowly wear your opponent down over time. Play pattern uh, does not exist. He can't do that, and so he just sort of loses his reason to exist. Yasuo is in a similar boat. Uh, in a game mode where every champion has low cooldowns and no resource costs, a champion that already had low cooldowns and no resource costs just kind of doesn't really exist in this game mode. Like, sure, you can use Windwall a lot more readily and a lot more often as Yasuo, but given that your core gameplay loop is already use Q off cooldown, use E off cooldown, you don't really get to do that as efficiently in Earth. so it's sort of like, why would I play Yasuo when there are other champions that were based around resource usage and longer cooldowns that now don't have resource usage and longer cooldowns, and therefore they're getting way more out of the game mode specific buffs. 
Champions with spammable range damage are normally gated by mana in lane, which isn't a problem in Earth, where they can press every button they have off cooldown with essentially no issues. This sort of ties into the first point as well, where if Ezreal can always fire Q forever and never run out of mana and does it on a second cooldown, then you are laning under a hail of Qs, which just means there's constantly the stress of trying to keep the dancing shoes on at all times, as opposed to in normal games of League of Legends where you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. Earth is also really, really snowball-y. The increased uptime on champion kit availability means that you just kind of get snowballed on all the time. Uh, to go return to our Darius example from earlier, right, and this is even something that existed back in the day, where Darius would kill you with his ult, you'd respawn, you'd get back to lane, and he'd already have his ultimate up again. This is just the Earth experience, right? There are no cooldowns for you to actually work with, so as a result, the second you get back, the champions are just ready to fight you and kill you again immediately, um, because everyone's kit is available 100% of the time. And with gold generation increased, there's virtually no world in which a champion doesn't hit their item breakpoints, which means that it's really, really easy to just get snowballed on and watch as a champion gets wildly out of hand very quickly. And as anyone who's ever played League of Legends knows, getting Snowball on is one of the worst experiences, and this is pretty par for the course in Earth. Earth is also inherently an unbalanced game mode. And now, this isn't new. ARAM, for example, isn't inherently a balanced game mode, but ARAM is unbalanced because of the map design specifically, not because of anything else Riot adds to it, right? ARAM is a singular lane, which does mean that uh, split pushers, skirmishers, assassins, they're pretty irrelevant, and meanwhile team fighters are extremely powerful, and if your champion has a terrain base effect, well, you just don't get to use it at all, right? Like Kane and Bard just don't get to do anything. But to compensate for the map being kind of unbalanced, ARAM is all random, which means that, yeah, you might get a useless split-pushing champion in ARAM and just sort of say, well, I guess this is the life I'm living, but your opponents might end up with an equally useless skirmisher or assassin pick, where you're sort of saying, okay, that's sort of fair and fine, right? Or you might end up with a useless split-pusher, but the enemy team might be all 80 carries, which, you know, you can maybe work with, right? And so as a result, it's hard to say that, you know, ARAM is unbalanced, yes, but because it's random, it's hard to say that, like, that's a problem. Sometimes the game gods give you a great comp, sometimes they don't. In Earth, however, you get to pick your champions, which means few reprieves from popular and powerful champions, because even with bans, some of them will always get through, and this is assuming that the enemy team, for example, doesn't want to play one, so your team didn't ban Hecarim because they assumed the opponents would ban Hecarim, and then Hecarim didn't get banned by your opponents, so they pick him, and then you're dealing with the Hecarim experience in Earth, which isn't particularly good, because people realize the second he's available, yeah, we're going to windmill slam that. Earth is also played on the Summoner's Rift map, which is a map that has been designed very carefully throughout the years to be optimally balanced for the traditional League of Legends experience, and as a result, there are a ton of issues with playing an inherently broken game mode on a map that isn't designed to accommodate for it. I would actually guess that a, an Earth-specific map would look very different from Summoner's Rift, because it would just have different design goals and philosophies. You wouldn't be designing a map around things like travel times, or uh, jungle clears, or how, how long it takes minions to get to certain places in the game. Generally speaking, you know, an Earth map would look very, very differently from I, what I would guess a Summoner's Rift map looks like. Obviously, Summoner's Rift did just get updated recently. We'll see how the map update shapes up the Earth gameplay, but my thought is that it won't change very much. Finally, though, I think the biggest reason why Earth is a lot more toxic than it used to be is that Riot have designed League of Legends to foster competition. This is sort of inarguable, by the way, guys. Uh, Riot have said repeatedly throughout the years that they want League of Legends, and really all of their games, to be one of the most competitive hardcore experiences in their respective genres, and there have been many changes throughout the years to facilitate this. That is an entire video on its own, but suffice to say, Riot have take, essentially taken a game that they didn't really know what it was about, they didn't really know what they had at the time, and really razor-focused it to be a competitive experience. Uh, as one example, uh, basically saying your team has to have a jungler. This is something that didn't exist back in Season 2, where there were some players saying, hey, we want duo lanes and maybe no jungler to be a thing that's possible. Riot just never did that because they like the idea of having five accepted roles, and you never vary from those five accepted roles. And you can even look at how hard Riot market things like ranked in esports as another example of how they focus on competition to the exclusion of basically all else. And this endless focus on competitive gameplay over the years has bled into the community as well. It feels like most normal games I play nowadays are highly competitive, even though it's not actually ranked. Like, you are not playing for anything other than a win or a loss in a normal game mode, and people are still bringing out their best picks and playing them as optimally as possible. 
And as a result of this, I've seen game modes like Nexus Splits and Earth, which are ostensibly four fun game modes that aren't intended to be competitive, played like a competitive mode regardless, with people flaming you based on the champions you pick or ban, or trying to pilot their picks as optimally as possible, and of course, always grabbing the power picks because they know, well, that champion's busted in this game mode, so of course we're going to play it, even though that may not be fun, right? Like, I feel like back in the day when Earth first came out, there was a lot of experimentation, people just trying certain champions, certain builds, and just seeing what happened, and nowadays it's like, well, what are the 10 best champions in Earth, those are the ones we're going to play instead. And whenever you take a game that really isn't intended to be competitive and play it competitively, it invariably ends up being extremely frustrating. Because the, the glaring flaws of the game, which can be sort of glossed over if you're playing for fun, end up being even more glaring during a competition, right? Something like Brain infinitely stunning a guy is fine in a normal game, right? You might say like, oh my god, I didn't realize he could do that, that's really stupid. But in a co competition, you're frustrated by it, right? You're like, I literally die if I take a single skill shot. And that doesn't lead to a fun experience, right? At least the core League of Legends experience, right? Normal League of Legends games are balanced around the competition. Earth is not, but people play it competitively anyways, and that leads to a whole host of issues. As a result, I, I think Earth, though still fun to play, has downgraded in my eyes to be less fun than in years previous. I do think it fosters a lot of toxicity just in general, and it's just not as much fun to play anymore. But you guys love the moment you think down in the comment section below. If you're still having a blast with Earth, or if you've seen some of the things that I've talked about today, let me know all that down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about it. If you enjoyed the video today, go ahead and leave it a like. And if you really enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I upload a video every Monday, Friday, and on patch days as well. Once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all later.